Cynthia Sweeney, hello, how are you doing? I'm very well, how are you? You are in Los Angeles, I'm in Stuttgart. I am, and yes. We have, you can use the Zoom transmission to, um, to meet us. Thank you very yeah. much for the visit in my home office. Klet Kosa has just published your second novel, Among Friends, Unter Freunden, Unter Freunden, that is this mm -hmm. year. The original title is Good Company, And Nikolai von Schweder Schreiner translated the novel into German. Your first novel, Das Nest, was published by Klett Kotter on 2016. And we meet us in the hotel in Stuttgart for the um, talk about your book. Yes. And you tell of the four plump siblings and their financial, bro financial problems as they will evaluate each other. The life beyond their limits, trusting and the paternal inheritance that will come meanwhile still resting in a found, the nest. And now your second, your new novel is no less exciting. It's again about trust and jealousy, but also about friendship and love. What is particularly important in your novel? Uh, well, I think a few things. I think that one thing that I thought about a lot when I was writing this book is what it's like to form relationships with people when you're young and you all have similar dreams for the future and what happens when not everyone's dreams come out the same way or some don't even happen at all. And when you sort of reach that point in your life when not everything is possibility anymore, uh, enough time has passed and you've made enough choices so that your life is becoming more of a fixed thing and how you reconcile that with what you uh, hoped your life might become. You have a remarkable success for introducing your readers to the characters of your novel. Flora Mancini has been happily married to Julian for 20 years. Everything is going well, and her daughter Rabi is developing splendidly. Flora Mancini is a main character, but she also has a friend, Margot, What is their relationship? Well, they, um, they met when they were very young and both wanted to be actors, um, you know, of a different kind. Flora really was uh, loved to sing and wanted to be uh, into musical theater. And Margot is sort of a more serious Shakespearean type of actor. Um, but they, 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 uh, they met when they were doing a production of Shakespeare in the Park in New York City, which is a Uh, would be would have been a very prestigious lucky thing for two young women in their 20s to luck upon so they you know they again they met at a time when everything was possible and their lives took different paths and they each are lucky in different ways and they support each other but the they they also both have things that the other wants and And so I was interested in sort of, again, exploring how you, how you navigate the relationship when, when it takes different paths. And when, or, you know, Margot has a, a, a kind of career that Flora would like. Uh, Flora has um, a daughter that Margot is very close to and a, and a marriage that, that Margot is envious of. So um, they support each other, but, but they also have that type of friendship where um, there's a little bit of envy and a little bit of friction. Mm -hmm. We both can speak about everything? I think so, yes. I think, I mean, well, no, obviously Margot is holding on to a big secret um, that she can't talk to Floor about. But, you know, Margot's very good at uh, compartmentalizing things and protecting what she needs in her life. So she's a little more selfish than Flora. Mm -hmm. a couple she of wouldn't a see it that way. <laughs> a couple of actors on the rise with the best prospects, except for the moment when Flora discovers her husband's wedding ring lost a year ago in an envelope in an old drawer. Just ignore it, or in a few seconds, the progress of the story is decided. You think so? 
Um, well, yeah, I mean, that certainly in my mind was when the novel uh, took off. Uh, that's when the story begins. So what, that's when the story of this book begins is when an object comes to light that um, is going to unearth a secret. I, I suppose you could ignore it, but then there wouldn't be a story to write. So I couldn't ignore it. <laughs> um, and um, I think... I think that would be a hard thing to ignore. I suppose there are people who would make that choice, who would rather not know and carry on happy in their ignorance. But um, that, I, I don't think that would be my choice. I'm happy to never have had to make that choice, but I think I would, ch I, I would rather know what was going on than not know, even if it was painful. In a certain sense, the value ring give a structure to the whole novel. But it is, it is rather much more the relationship between the couples, isn't it so? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I think so. Um, you know, they impact, their, they impact each other's lives and they, um, and they depend on each other. Uh, they've really sort of formed a life. They're a family. They've sort of made their own family. Julian had probably lied to Flora. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. he had said to Flora, It kind of slipped off of my finger in the water. Does it matter, Flora? It's okay, we got a new one. Flora was not suspicious. No, she wasn't suspicious, um, which I think is part of her heartbreak that uh, she trusted him so completely. And I think that... Um, You know, I think that there people have different kind of marriages or relationships or partnerships. Uh, some people operate sort of in an orbit of mistrust and suspicion, which I think is a very difficult place to live your life in. And, and some people live in a more trusting place. Uh, but I think, um, you know, one of the things the book explores is whether we can really know everything about the people we love. May I, may I ask you, um, it's it's an individual story, or is there also a little part of general, generalizing of the story? Um, do you mean did that happen to me? Yeah. <laughs> no, not <laughs> no. to me. No, not to me. No, 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 no to, to to others. A, a bit. Um... Um, well, I definitely, you know, I I um, I have been married for a long time, and I and I have friends who have. You know, we've all been married. Some of us have been married for a long time. Some of us. Uh, Uh, relationships have not lasted. And um, as I was writing this book, I talked to many friends who had gone through similar situations to sort of, you know, and they were very honest with me about um, what it's like to have a relationship come to an end. And a lot of their thoughts and feelings went into this book. So it's, um, You know, it's individual, but um, I ho hopefully it's also universal. Mm -hmm. Try to make those both those things work. The ring is will dominate each chapter below, very gradually, but steadily piecing together the answer. What in God's name does it mean? Page 24. Flora cannot imagine at first that Julian have seen Drogon. Right. Yeah. Um, It's really shocking for her. It is, um, it is in some ways, uh, well, it's a heartbreak and she has a big decision to make. Mm -hmm. Will her friend Margot help her figure it out? Well, um, I think we have, that... We have not, not too much, we have not to tell too much about the novel. Right, yes, <laughs> I think, um, You know, Margot occupies her own unique place in this conundrum. And I think that, um, I, I think that, I think that it would be very hard for Margot to give Flora objective advice. We will not, not tell too much about the story. Yeah. It's difficult to speak about a book know, and, and, and not, not, not yeah. to speak too much about it. And therefore my colleagues tell tell me so often that the uh, my talks had not be had have not been too long right. <laughs> my blog says cleverly Cynthia Sweeney recounts the early years of her marriage to interpret to interpret 
present day situations in retrospect actually they were really happy year, happy years but that memory has cracks she can no long, longer escape her growing distrust that affects her memory this is also where the tension this book comes from is this right mm -hmm. yes absolutely i thought a lot about uh, memory and and the stories we tell ourselves about our past so um you know like like anyone you when you think about your past or or when you're um, telling yourself or when you're telling anyone else what your life has been like you pick and choose moments that reflect the life you want people uh to think you've had or that you want to think you've had and of course we're all imperfect and so um you don't you don't necessarily present the naked truth to people and but when that comes up to you know, sort of, sort of erupts in your life, um, what you think your life has been versus what it actually has been, that's, you know, that's kind of a sweet spot for a novelist, because there is so much tension there. And the stakes there are, are, are pretty high. So mm -hmm. I have liked it very much um, how Margot marries David and their marriage is told in parallel with Florian and mm -hmm. Julian's. Mm -hmm. Flora compares their relationship to that of their friends. Margot and David were also on the outs because of a flying David had before they had come back together. Margot can be a friend or a counselor to Flora. That's the same question again from another point of view. Yeah, I mean, I think they both, they are that for each other at different times in their lives, Margot and Flora. Sometimes, you know, um, as, as, as I think friendship works, um, Sometimes you're the counselor, sometimes you're the person who needs to be counseled. And it goes back and forth, you know, in that way. And um, in this particular situation of the book, it's just very heightened. Um, the situation is, is very, is extra dramatic. Um, and so, you know, what will happen? I don't know. <laughs> and I, I will, I will less, um drop my last question because we have already spoken about it. The novel gives the impression that action carriers somehow merge with actual life. Yeah, well, I think, um, you know, one of the reasons that, uh, um, um, you know, every culture has some form of theater mm -hmm. and actors is because it reflects life and sometimes Uh, it merges with life, but almost always in any story, whether it's a book or a movie or a stage, uh, you know, from Shakespeare to contemporary television, people see themselves in stories. And that's how they try and make sense of their own stories. Can you imagine that we are both in a bookshop in Germany and I have the book and I have your book in my hand? Yes. Freunden, and you will yes. tell me why I have to read this book? What would you tell him to me? Oh, um, That's another question of the sort. Who should read the book? Yes. <laughs> well, I think everyone should read the book. Everyone, book. yes, everyone. But, <laughs> but now when I have <laughs> this I book think, in my hand, what yes. um, could you tell me? Um, I think that it is a compelling story of marriage and friendship and secrets and memory and love. Ah, I will interesting, I will open the book. And tell me please, <laughs> when and why did you begin to write? Oh, I've always just I mean, When did you read. conceive the idea to write a of novel? Of this book? Oh yes. Of, of this one? So, yes. Before I finished The Nest, I had huh? this idea. And uh, I worked on it for a while, thought about it for a long time before I actually sat down to write. And I just wanted to, um, I love books about friendship and, I, and there aren't as many as I wished. And so I wrote one. Mm -hmm. And you will uh, certainly write a third novel, isn't it so? I hope so, yes. Yes, we will have a, a, certainly an, another opportunity to meet us. And then uh, in, in a really way in Stuttgart, I hope I so. I hope so. Thank I you very so much. Too. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much.